Hey, what's going on everyone? So as you can see, I'm back in the studio, but not actually for that long, just an hour or so. So I'm making a really quick video. And uh, so no edits or no scripting, and we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, there are a couple of stories that I want to talk about. Uh, so the first one was the RTX 3090 Ti. And is this actually a real card or is this a mistake listing? So we'll talk a little bit about that. And then second of all, I want to talk a little bit about the light hash rate series of cards. And we've known about them for quite some time. And now they're about to come out. So they'll probably come out end of May, early June, so a couple of weeks from now. And I just want to talk a little bit about the expected prices of these cards. And uh, I also asked in a poll yesterday, and I got a lot of responses, how much people actually want to pay for these cards. So I think those answers will be pretty interesting. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And we also have a Discord server, so make sure to join in the discussion there and I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the RTX 3090 Ti. So video cards had an article up about this. This was um, Zotac expects RTX 3090 Ti. It has been discovered by Japanese PC mania that the Zotac Firestorm overclocking utility already lists unreleased graphics cards. And as you can see, we've got a 3070 Ti, a 3080 Ti, a 3090 Ti. And we've known for quite some time that we're getting a 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti. The 3070 Ti is actually pretty much the same as the 3070 card. So that uh, but the only difference is it has 8 gigabytes of G6X memory. So the memory bandwidth is a little bit faster on that, but otherwise I think most of it is more or less the same. It has maybe a little bit better CUDA cores, but essentially it's going to perform like a 3070 um, with the memory bandwidth the exception there. So later on when, say, like Hardware Unboxed or Gamers Nexus get the cars, you'll be able to find out what the difference is with that little bit extra memory bandwidth, which will be really interesting to see, I think. Now, the 3080 Ti, that is a card um, that is more like a 3090, except with half the video memory. So it has pretty much all of the CUDA cores of the 3090, but it only has 12 gigabytes of video memory. So um, in terms of pricing, I guess it'll probably land in between the 3080 and 3090. And of course, also, if it has the limit hash rate, then of course, you've got to take that into account as well. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about the pricing of those a little bit later. Uh, now, uh, the 3090 Ti was also listed, and I think that's really interesting. So um, as you know, with NVIDIA, the way it works is obviously they like to release the top die um, to begin with at the start of the generation. So that's available for the whole two years before they announced the next generation of video cards. So the 3090 was basically their top card and uh, that had pretty much the full GO102 die and they were using the full amount of it. Now, technically it wasn't the full, full die. Um, so if we look at the amount of CUDA cores, it had 10,496 CUDA cores, but if you look at what I believe A6000 is also using the GA102, that has 10,752 CUDA cores, so a little bit higher than the 3090, but really uh, the 10,752 would be the actual final, final uh, number of CUDA cores. Um, there was a tweet a long time ago, back in March 11, 2020, and a lot of this information still holds up. So this was a leak on Ampere last year, uh, six months before it launched. And it said that the number of CUDA cores was 5,376. If you multiply that by two, that's actually 10,752 CUDA cores. And so that that is the full number of CUDA cores. And it, there's no listing of a GA100. The GA100 is actually that data center GPU manufactured on TSMC 7 nanometer, and that's not going to be used for the 3090Ti. That's not gaming architecture. So uh, that's very unlikely to be the, if they were going to release the 3090Ti, that wouldn't be the GA100. And if they were, it would be a GA102 with 
where is it? 10,752 CUDA cores. Now, is that actually worth it for them to release the 3090 Ti with 10,752 CUDA cores? If you do the maths, it's only like two or 3% extra performance. So I don't think they're going to do that. I think this might be a mistake listing by Zotac, though I'm happy to be proven wrong, but that's my uh, gut instinct there that I don't think this is going to be, there's going to be a 3090 Ti because I don't think they would release this with such minimal performance uplift halfway through the generation. So yeah, you would only get two, 3% extra performance and it's not like you're going to put on 48 gigabytes of memory onto this card. 24 gigabytes is more than enough uh, for gaming at the moment. So, and they can't really, unless they have G7 memory, uh, there's really no way they can really improve this GPU as it is right now. So I don't think there's gonna be a 3090 Ti. Okay, so with that out of the way, Let's take a look at the light hash rate series. Now, uh, there's another article here, and it says, uh, this is from Video Cards again. It says, uh, NVIDIA RTX 30 light hash rate series. NVIDIA officially announced its GeForce RTX 30 series lineup uh, is receiving new GPU variants. So essentially, I'll just skip all of that uh, text, but essentially they're going to bring out uh, oh, well, here's their official post, and they essentially say this GeForce RTX 3080, 3070, and 3060 Ti. Let me start again. Uh, we're reducing the hash rate of newly manufactured GeForce RTX 3080, 3070, and 3060 Ti graphics cards, so they're less desirable to miners. And they're going to halve the hash rate of these cards. And interesting that they've listed this repeatedly that it's going to be a 3080, 3070 and 3060 Ti cards and it's not going to be the 3090. So I guess for everybody who's thinking about or is on the border of like getting a 3090 or a 3080, they want to also do some mining on the side uh, with their gaming. Well, uh, you have many choices now. So I think that's a good thing to have lots of choices. If we're gonna have this light hash rate, well, I would rather have a choice. So I'm glad that the 3090 is staying with the full hash rate that people can get it. Yes, it's probably going to be like 3000 US dollars or 4000 US dollars, um, but at least there is a choice for people who want a card. And if they feel like the 3080 light hash series with 45 mega hash a second, goes for like $2,000 and it's not worth it and they'd rather get a 3090 for 4,000. Well, at least the choice is there. Um, rather than like them putting out light hash rate series for all of these cards and then stopping the full hash rate, um, I, I think we need to have both. We need to have both a light hash rate cards because there are going to be gamers who cannot get a card or even for example, there are some countries that uh, ban mining altogether. So they're not able to mine and get the money back for these cards. So therefore the light hash rate series is actually good for them. So I understand why uh, there's a light hash rate card because this will definitely bring down the prices for these cards. Now, will it bring the price down by 50% because the prices at the moment are based on return on investment. So if they halve the hash rate, then the price will also halve. Well, I would say probably not. It's probably going to be maybe like 30 or 40% lower in price for these light hash rate cards. So what I mean by that is, let's take a look at some of these prices for these cards right now. Um, and this is a post from 3dcenter.org and they posted the prices of uh, what the prices were uh, for, I guess, every couple of weeks since January for these cards. And I've got a better version of this, whoops, somewhere. Hopefully I can find that. Okay, so I have the GPU prices in front of me. So the 3080, so right now it's going for about 3,000 euros at the moment. And it's about 3,000 US dollars where I am. So I think this is pretty much close enough 
to where we can do the analysis on say market prices right now. So the 3080, if you have a light hash rate series card, so it's gonna go from 90 mega hash a second to 45 mega hash a second. Technically speaking, you would think that that would just half the price because right now all of these cards are based off their hash rate and return on investment, which is about eight to 10 months at the moment. And if um, that's not gonna change, so the 3080, if it's at 45 mega hash a second, that's gonna be a very similar price to the 6700 XT, which also has about 45 mega hash a second. So the 6700 XT right now is 1100 to $1,200. I would expect that the 3080 would be priced higher than the 6700 XT, given that it has better gaming performance. So it should be like, you know, two, $300 better because it can do more. So, if the 6700 XT is 1100 to $1,200, well, then the 3080 would probably be like $1,500, for example. So yeah, I could see that uh, because it's 3,000 euro right now, it gets halved in terms of the price. Um, now, the 6800 XT, that has 60 mega hash a second. So that could be more than the $1,500 of the 3080. And that could be like $1,800, as you can see here, that would be on the high uh, range of this, uh, the pricing. So I think actually the really interesting one is the 3070, which is right now about $1,500. And right now it has 60 mega hash a second, but if you have that, it goes to 30 mega hash a second. And that would put it at around like a GTX 1660 Super or an RTX 2060. And those cars are going for about $750. So the 3070 could be like $800 or $900. And that would be really close to the MSRP, the original MSRP of the 3070, which was $500. But um, yes, even though $800, $900 is a lot more than $500, we haven't had a 3070 back in that range since January almost. As you can see, in January, we had this card at around 769 to 1,000 euros. So these light hash rate cards are going to reduce the prices of these cards as long as you don't care about the mining aspect too much of it. Now, uh, I thought I would just finish off with this poll and I asked everyone, well, how much would you spend on an RTX 3080 light hash rate series card? I think I kind of phrased that incorrectly because I, obviously everybody wants to spend uh, the least amount uh, as possible. And so everybody's voted for $699 MSRP. Uh, so I probably phrased that wrong. Um, what I think what I really wanted to ask was how much do you expect this card to retail for, which I did put, but like I ended up asking two questions, which was kind of dumb. Um, but uh, I would say that the card is going to end up retailing for about $1,500 given the current market prices at the moment. So that's still really far from the MSRP of the $699. Um, so I think while we can expect the prices of the 3080 light hash rate series to drop, um, I don't think it's gonna go all the way down to the MSRP level, um, given all of the prices of the other cars right now. Uh, and then I guess the other thing obviously was to say, well, we have the 3070 Ti and the 3080 Ti. Well, those are most likely gonna have this light hash rate as well implemented into their, um, into their BIOS and, and the driver as well. So I would say that uh, those cards are probably going to reflect what the hash rate is going to be for those cards. So if the 3080 Ti does 50 mega hash a second, well, that's going to sit around the prices of like say $1,500. Okay, so let me know what your thoughts are on these light hash rate series cards. Let me know what you think of uh, the 3090 Ti. Do you think it's actually real or not? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's gonna be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.